Hey, welcome to the Eagles Spicy Kitchen. You are going to be making some nice Guyanese cassava pawn with the Eagle today. All right, so let me bring you over to show you my ingredients for today. Today we're going to be doing some nice, moist, gluey cassava pawn. First of all, I have my grated cassava in here. All right, everything will be in the description box so you will know the exact amount and everything. So this is my grated cassava. I have my blend pumpkin. I have my grated coconut. I have my carnation milk. I have some ginger. I have some nutmegs. I have sugar. I have some spice, cinnamon spice. I have some black pepper. Um, I have some cardamom. I have some uh, butter. And I have some mixed essence here and some vanilla essence. Okay, so we're gonna put this cassava pone together. The first thing we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be adding our pumpkin, All right? All right? So we're gonna mix this together. I want you to try this ingredients, try this recipe, I mean. Try this recipe and you're gonna be amazed how beautiful this cassava pone will taste. It's a little different than maybe what you have known. So I have my pumpkin in here. So I'm not gonna be using all my pumpkin. So that might be for that. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my coconut. I'm gonna put half of the amount. Okay, okay, and I'm gonna use a little bit. The exact amount that I'm using is in the description box. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have tons of recipe to share with you. All right, also you can like us on our Eagle Spicy Kitchen. Follow us on Facebook and like our page. Okay. All right. So my pumpkin is in there. My coconut is in there. This is my ginger. I'm going to be adding my sugar. Now I'm going to be adding, that is my carnation milk I'm adding now. And I'm going to take my time and I'm going to stir this up. Looking beautiful so far. This is my essence, that's my vanilla essence. This is my mixed essence. Stir this up. So the bone is looking nice so far. I'm gonna be added some of my soft butter. And I'm going to stir everything together. Like as I said earlier, 
subscribe to my channel. I have tons of beautiful recipes of different curries, snacks, bacon, snacks, cakes, everything. So now I'm going to be adding in my black pepper. This is a teaspoon. You can eliminate, if you don't want the black pepper, you can eliminate it, but what is a nice cassava pone without some nice black pepper? It gives a little kick there. So now this is my nutmeg. This is my cinnamon powder. And this is my cardamom powder. So I have all these things up in here. And I'm like, oh wow, those spices just give it a nice smell. They're looking good, guys. Looking up really, really good. We're going to be adding some coconut milk now. All right, I've already add the coconut. Now I'm going to be adding the coconut milk. Just adding one can of coconut milk. I want to see good. Looking nice so far. If you want a nice, moist cassava bone, this is the texture you want to have. I'm going to be adding some more sugar. Look at that. And my remaining sugar. And then I'm going to taste it to make sure. So you can play around with the sugar. You could add less or more sugar in this cassava bone. Depends on how sweet you want it. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be adding a little bit more of That's going to the end of my liquid. And there you have it. That's our cassava bone. Smooth. Nice. You can either grate your fresh cassava or, to be honest, I bought my grated cassava from the supermarket. They have grated coconut, they have grated cassava. They have everything, man, to make your life so easy. So here is our cassava bone. And so what I did, I greased my pan, notice, while I'm preheating my oven there. I greased my pan, and now I'm going to be... And I took, this is what I did. I took butter, and I just greased it all right you want to make sure you grease your pan so that the cassava bone will lose easily that's the simple process there Fifty. All right. So 
just be careful when you open your oven so make sure that is my first one in there okay so that's where it is and I'll come back and show you the finished product okay guys this is my finishing product cassava pone is at finish Wow. All right, hot off the oven. So I'm gonna let this cool and then I'll come back and I'll cut a piece and show you what the finishing product looks like. Beautifully done. All right guys, so this is the finished product of a cassava pone. All right, so we're gonna just dig in now. It's a cassava bone. So beautiful. Wow, look at that. See, that's the texture you want with your cassava bone. So we're gonna try a piece. Mm. Oh wow. That's a cassava bone. Um, like on Facebook, follow me on Facebook, try this recipe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. I'll see you next time.